Hello everyone! Welcome to this video on creating your first dashboard using Bold BI. In this video, I'm going to build a marketing performance dashboard with website visitor metrics. The objective of this dashboard is to let marketing analysts get quick insights into site traffic, lead conversions, and other marketing opportunities. Before starting our dashboard, we need to define the key metrics and relevant widgets to explore the site traffic and customer conversions. For this dashboard, we defined card widgets for key metrics such as visitor count, customer acquisition, dormancy rate, and return on investment, weekly visitors and lead conversion rate using line and spline widgets, revenue and CTR rate for traffic sources using donut and area widgets, and bounce rate, dormancy rate, and sessions using a line chart. Let's see how to create a dashboard using the Dashboard Designer. To begin with, click the Add icon in the left navigation bar and choose Start from Scratch. Enter the name for your dashboard and click Add and Design. Now, you will be redirected to the Dashboard Designer user interface with a blank dashboard. Dashboard Designer comes in when you create a new dashboard or edit an existing dashboard. This page consists of a toolbar at the top, a toolbox on the left containing widgets, an editor pane at the center of the page, and a navigation panel on the right with a data source pane and properties pane. You can find more information about each option of the dashboard designer in a separate video called Working with the Bold BI User Interface, which I've included in the link in this video's description. Let's start with adding a data source. I am going to add the Excel data source that the marketing data resides in. You can download the respective Excel file from the link mentioned in this video's description. To add a data source, click the data source pane on the right side of the dashboard designer and click the Create New button. Now the list of supported data sources will be displayed. Under Categories, choose Files and select the Excel data source. Enter the name for your data source, choose the Excel file, and once the file upload completed successfully, click Preview and Connect. You will be redirected to the Choose Tables pop-up, where you can select the required tables and click Connect. Now, you will be redirected to edit the Data Source Designer page. From the Table Explorer, drag the Marketing Details table into the Table Design pane. Then, choose the other table, Channel Details, and join both tables using the unique column channel ID. Click the Merge button to join both tables. Then, I would like to add a few columns by adding expressions in the Data Source Designer. Click the Expression icon available at the top of the toolbar. Initially, I would like to calculate the Customer Acquisition Cost, or CAC, by adding a formula. To do this, rename the expression name CAC and add the formula in the Expression text box. Click the Save button to save the expression. Similarly, I am going to create a few more expressions for calculating the Return on Marketing Investment, or ROI, the click-through rate, or CTR, the dormancy rate, the bounce rate, and the lead conversion rate. Here is the list of expressions I have created in the Expression Designer. Let me check the changes in Data Preview. Here, you can see all the additional columns required that were added as expressions. You can find more information about each option inside the Data Source Designer in a separate video called Working with the Bold BI User Interface, which I have also included in a link in this video's description. Now finally, click Save. Let's start configuring each widget for creating a marketing performance dashboard. To begin with, I would like to show some of the important metrics by adding their card widgets at the top of the dashboard. Add a card widget in the Editor pane. In this widget, I would like to show the visitor count. To do this, click the Settings icon at the top of the widget to assign data to the widget and choose the Assign Data tab. The Assign Data tab holds a data configuration view. The Numeric columns and Numeric expressions are listed under the Measures section. Other type columns and dimensions expressions are listed under the dimension section. Drag the visitor column in the actual value section.
I'm going to change the widget name to visitor count. Add another card widget to show the customer acquisition costs that we created using expression in the data source designer. Drag the CAC column into the actual value section. Let me change the cost display format to currency. To do this, click the settings icon on the filled CAC. Choose format in the drop down menu, select the currency type, and click OK. You can see the format of the cost has been changed to the currency type in the widget. Similarly, add two more card widgets to show the return on investment and dormancy rate. Let me change the display format to percentage for these two widgets. For the return on investment card widget, I'm going to add the description explaining the ROI marketing term definition. You can utilize the description area to explain terms or the information you want to convey to the user. Next, I would like to show the weekly visitors using a line chart. Let me drag the line chart into the editor pane. Drag the visitors column into the value section and date field into the column section. Since I'm going to show total visitors by week, let me change the date format to week year using the settings icon. Now, I'm going to customize the widget for better display. First, I am going to enable the show value labels. Next, let me change the category axis title to week, since I have modified the date format. Then, I'm going to change the color of the line for the widget. Finally, I'll set the name of the widget as Weekly Visitors. Next, I would like to show the lead conversion rate per month using a spline chart. Now I have to configure a spline chart and assign the required column lead conversion rate to the value section and date field to the column section. Since I'm going to show the conversion rate by month, I have changed the date format to month using the settings icon. Also, I have customized the widget for better display. First, I have modified the formatting for the lead conversion rate column by changing the representation to auto and appending the percentage symbol at the right. Next, I've enabled show value labels under the properties tab. I have changed the category axis title to month since I have modified the date format and the color of the line for the widget. Finally, I set the name of the widget to lead conversion rate. Now I would like to show the top five revenue traffic sources. I have configured a donut chart and assigned the required column revenue to the value section and the channel name field to the column section. Since I'm going to show the top five traffic sources for revenue, I ensure the filter settings are applied to the channel name. By default, the filter settings will be applied for the donut widget to show the top five values of the chosen field. I have customized this widget to display well. First, I enabled Show Legend under the Properties tab. Then, I changed the color of each part for the donut widget and set the name of this widget to Top 5 Revenue Traffic Sources. Next, I would like to show the click-through rate CTR, based on traffic sources. Now I have configured an area chart and assigned the required column CTR to the value section and the channel name field to the column section. I have customized the widget for better display. First, I have changed the formatting for the CTR column by changing type to percentage and choosing two for decimal places. Next, I have modified the category axis title to traffic sources and the primary axis title value to CTR rate and changed the color of the area widget. Finally, I set the name of the widget as CTR rate based on traffic sources 
and include a description explaining CTR. This description will be shown as a tooltip while the cursor hovers over the information icon in the Publish dashboard. Next, I would like to show a comparison between the bounce rate, dormancy rate, and sessions. I have configured a line chart and assigned the required columns, session, bounce rate, and dormancy rate, to the value section, and the date field to the column section. I have also changed the sessions and bounce rate to the average aggregation type, and modified the date format to month using the settings icon. I have customized the widget to display nicely too. First, I changed the formatting for the sessions column by changing the representation to ones and decimal places to zero, and appended the text sec. Similarly, I changed the formatting for the bounce and dormancy rates by appending the percentage symbol on the right. Next, I changed the category axis title to month and the color of the line chart for each column added. Finally, I set the description of the widget explaining what the bounce and dormancy rates are. And now we have created a dashboard. Let me preview the dashboard by clicking the preview button at the top right corner of the dashboard designer. This exact view will be achieved when we publish the dashboard. The preview looks good to me, so I'll proceed with publishing the dashboard. Now, click the Close Preview button, and then click the Publish button to publish the dashboard created. The dashboard is successfully rendered after publishing. In this video, we learned how to create your first dashboard by exploring various metrics using the widgets available in the Dashboard Designer and publish the dashboard. Today we focus on a dashboard for the marketing domain, but if there's a domain you'd like to see us create a dashboard for next, such as finance, healthcare, or more, please post your comments below mentioning the domain or industry you'd like to see covered next. And stay tuned for our next video, Working with the Bold BI User Interface, where we will explore the Bold BI User Interface in detail. So until then, Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.